Hello everybody, and welcome to another third party review. Now, following on from my Forever Prime 2.0 review, today we are taking a look at their latest offering in the form of Scorpion, aka Scorponok. Right, here he is out of his box. Now, first impressions, he looks amazing. He is absolutely screen accurate. Uh, he really, really does look the part. Now he comes uh, disassembled, his tail is a separate section, you just need to pop that off and slide that in. And it also comes with an axe for Prime 2.0. Very, very nice axe. Just slide nicely into Prime's hand. Again, very screen accurate. Love the uh, paint detailing on this. Looks incredible. Now back to Scorponok. He is fragile as heck. And I mean super, super fragile. Again, he is made from that kind of Gundam-esque kit plastic. And you have to be extremely careful with him. I mean, the levels of detailing on this are absolutely absurd. Paint applications are gorgeous. Absolutely Incredible, it's just so much intricate detailing. These legs are ball jointed. Uh, the balls do not work as they should. Uh, I think there's too much stress on the actual balls themselves because they're so small. I would just keep these joints in this fixed position. You can still move these leg sections at the knee um, but that is my personal preference. I may have just had a bad one, but it just feels to me like the ball joints are just too small and just too delicate. The figure itself looks incredible. There is never going to be a more screen accurate representation of Scorponok. It's, it's mind-blowing how they can capture so much detail in such a small figure. Now the tail itself is completely articulated. It can just curl right up. They've included a huge number of joints in here. Everything is individually painted. It's it looks incredible. I mean even they've even painted the eyes in there as well. That's an that's a stellar Stellar paint job, isn't it? Here he is with his official counterpart. As you can see, they have literally gone to town. They've got a very similar mold to begin with, but then they've just added all this high levels of detailing in there, and it literally blows the original out of the water. Scorpion definitely looks the part, and it is a huge added bonus that he comes with that axe for Optimus Prime. Um... With a roughly $60 price tag, do I think it's worth it? It depends. I mean, if you're looking just to have a model on your shelf, uh, then obviously this does tick the boxes, and we're never going to have one as highly detailed as this. I mean, it looks incredible, but the joints are just so, so brittle. Uh, it, it's a tough decision. It, it really is. I mean, I don't regret buying this. I, I love my movie figures. Uh, it's kind of a dirty little secret I have. I, I do love how they look. I just wish that maybe the plastic quality was kind of more what we we're getting from the third party line. I mean, Optimus himself is incredible. I love him to bits. Uh, plastic quality is the same, but because there's so many intricate pieces on this and it's because he is that much smaller, I think it does just mean you have to err on the side of caution when moving them around. Personally, I should have really maybe heated up those joints, and maybe that would have then freed them up. Uh, it's just not a lot of clearance on the underside there. Maybe adding a little bit of heat to that would free up the balls themselves. I mean, other than those legs, we do have the joints at the knees that move. We have that moving tail. We have the shoulders, which can come in and out. They do rotate up and down as well. We have a bend at the elbow. I mean, everything looks fantastic. The claws do not move, unfortunately. The head itself can rotate up 
and down on this uh, pivot section here. Uh, it looks incredible, but R looks enough. What do you guys think? Let me know. If you do decide you want this, and if you are a huge fan of the movie, then feel free to click through the link in the description below that takes you through to Robot Kingdom, who are actually going to be stocking the Scorpion figure. Personally, I like it, but it's not without its faults. If you like what you're seeing, feel free to share it, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe. And until next time, from myself and Scorpion, goodbye.